Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. She's a little bit crazy on the weekends, dancing in her red dress, and I love the way she looks in my eyes. And I feel like midnight's getting closer, and I just want to hold her. Well, hello, tubers. Today I've come to you from an undisclosed location. I am a refugee from Carolyn's RV Life. Living the good life because I'm not living her life. <laughs> and I'm spending that alimony money that I could be paying in advance. Yes siree Bob. And Carolyn's RV life, yes we, I guess we could blame her that I did it because of her. But that's just my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> in case we ever wind up in divorce court like that would ever happen. Like oh no, I could never marry that because I'm a shallow man. Yes, I'm shallow and uh, I'm part of the male dominated patriarchy. And um, she's kind of long in the tooth, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, anywho, <laughs> I know I've been very neglectful in my travels for the last, uh, God, seven, eight weeks. That uh, I've been very sporadic in my uploads. Perhaps I may uh, do better in the future and kind of uh, keep you apprised with all the silliness. And uh, yeah, I'll be talking a lot about the exit from the RV life and... Um, you know, things I'm doing, things I'm seeing, things I see online. Oh, and if you want to see hatred, oh boy, Carolyn's RV Life, that Twitter, or I guess X we call it now, full of hatred to so many people. She's keeping the hate off of the YouTubes because that's bad for business and she loses money. But she's uh, really letting loose on the Twitter. She says basically conservatives and people who vote uh, Republican are evil. Yeah, she said that. Really? Really? Gee, meanwhile, I let the libs come here. <laughs> if they make a really spicy comment, I often just pin it to the top and give them the best seat in the house. It's the least I can do for the libs. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so funny. The only thing she has improved lately on, she doesn't complain directly to YouTube anymore because she realizes if she keeps doing that, she's going to lose her channel. So she can't do that anymore. So that's, uh, I guess it's improvement. we got to give her credit where credit is due. So, anyway, what the heck have I been doing? I'm just filling my time, um, you know, enjoying life and, uh, you know, stacking up the cash. Because <laughs> uh, God knows where I'm going to be excited. Well, I, I already do kind of where I'm going to be <laughs> uh, once I, I, I finish all my, my things up. But I don't want to let the cat out of the bag specifically because I don't want Carolyn showing up or her, her unfriendlies. <laughs> But uh, rest assured, you know, I've, I've just been reflecting a lot about the hooey of RV life and it's what it's become. You got the young Vanners, you got the TNA crowd, they, they, they use sex appeal just to sell, you know, they're basically, uh, they're trolling for simps, <laughs> that's what they do, they troll for simps, they use their hot girlfriend or perhaps they are the person, the Vanner, that, you know, they're doing that for that trying to uh, convert their T and A for cash Ola. And then you got the old liberal women that uh, nobody wants to look at naked, so they, they can't sell the T and A. So they just sell anger, yeah. And they, they sell poverty where they, they sell, they say things like, you know, you, you too could live in your RV for next to nothing and live a horrible life like me. Now they don't say horrible life like me because they exaggerate they don't want you to know how it sucks if you ain't got money. If you got the monies, you got the honeys, everything's fun, you're doing good, life is good, you can actually you know, travel where you want, how you want, stay where you want, do what you want. It takes money. In fact, it's actually dangerous to be living in the middle of nowhere. I've done it. You gotta have a satellite communicator if you're in the middle of nowhere because you know medical attention is so far away. Food's more expensive because you got to go a long ways to get it, and you're going to very small uh, grocery stores where the, the prices are crazy. But they sell you a whole bill of goods that are wrong and deceitful. In fact, the best RVers that I've seen in my travels, I'm going to describe some of them. They're the people you don't see on 
YouTube, you see them in nice, fairly affluent RV parks. In fact, a couple couple winters ago, I was in an RV park, and you know this is this is contrary to stereotypes. You know, the typical RVer is kind of middle-aged and a white person, generally speaking. But there's uh, some people just a few doors down. They were Korean. They had a million-dollar Prevost, you know, bus. It's like the tour buses that the the uh, rock stars use, and they were towing a double stacker with Porsches <laughs> in a double stacker hauler that matched their their bus. Their whole outfit with the double stacker and the Porsches and the the buses, it probably cost them yeah, 1.6 million, maybe a little more, especially with all the extra goodies. And they're Korean, yeah, not white people. And they enjoyed camping, they enjoyed traveling, they enjoyed unloading the Porsches and, and tootling around. And, you know, great people. And they're not putting their life up on Instagram at all or on YouTube. And I'm sure if you were to talk to them, because I've talked to them, the key to RVing successfully is have money. Very simple, two words, have money. Don't rely on others to watch your videos to pay for your dreams. Now, you people might say, well, Andrew, you make videos and you make money. Yeah, okay, compared to all my other monies, nothing. This, this might pay for the odd airfare for a video that you're going to see. That, that's about it. Um, it's not pennies from heaven. And if I had to live on YouTube alone, it would suck. So I don't. I live on the pension. I got investments. I got the other monies coming. You know, I, I do other hustles. Yeah, and my hustles I can do anywhere around the world with my pro camera gear. So, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> but, you know, that's the funny thing is uh, everything on YouTube, doesn't matter what kind of industry you're talking about, but especially in the, uh, the, the nomad RV van life stuff, there's a lot of people putting lipstick on the pig. And they're pretending that it's super great when often it is not. And the only thing that can equalize your ability to have a great time or a crappy time is the monies. But, you know, you, you, you just can't tell people sometimes. Even Bob Wells from Cheap RV Living, he's still the guru of the poverty stricken. And he really is disingenuous by telling people you can live in your Prius for 600 bucks a month. Your life will suck if you do that. You need more money. And that's where I depart, because I believe in people. I believe in people's potential. Doesn't matter whether you're blind or, you know, look at Blind Views, he's doing all right. And he's blind. I'm a shout out to Blind Views. Um, but, you know, you can have all sorts of disabilities and handicaps. You can still make a living. Hell, you could do call center work through the Wi-Fi, wherever you're at, and make, make a living. There's all sorts of creative jobs. Even Walmart, if you're in a wheelchair, they'll hire you as a greeter. Yes, they will. So don't make excuses and don't believe in people like Bob Wells who believe in your lower potential when I believe in your higher potential to achieve as much greatness as you're willing to work for. Yeah. So unless you're on a heart-lung machine and you're, uh, you know, you're completely disabled in terms of, you know, all your limbs can't work. Come on, even look at that, what was that, astrophysicist with uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. Look, he, he made a living. <laughs> you can use your mind. Yeah, you get a PhD in physics and start publishing stuff and hitting that lecture circuit and making that big bucks. So don't believe in the naysayers and the negative people, the negative Nellies who say that, you can only do 600 a month to live in your Prius or, you know, 1200 a month to live in your crappy RV. It's hooey and it is so wrong. You can achieve whatever you want to work for in this life. This is America, North America. Well, actually, I'm not in North America right now, but you get the idea. It's the, uh, it's all about the working for a living and the pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps and not asking for handouts or things like that. So anyway, I'm going to be ranting a lot about that kind of stuff that really annoys me uh, during my travels because uh, the truth's got to be spoken. And as I'm exiting the RV lifestyle, now I know you say, what? what are you talking about, Andrew? You've been flying around hell's half acre the last few months and you're not in your RV all the time. Well, that's true. That's true. 
but I'm doing the exit and you gotta have an exit strategy so what is your exit strategy because even some of the nomads on YouTube that I'm friends with I call them and occasionally I ask them that question what's the exit strategy most say huh no go you gotta have one because you know shit happens and you don't want shit to happen to you so anyway Hey, look, I'm just Johnny Nobody. I'm not rich. Some, that's the funny thing on YouTube. Everybody thinks I'm either really rich or really poor. Both are not true. I'm Johnny Nobody somewhere in the middle, okay? Yeah, okay, that's me. And I'm blessed that I never had kids. And I know that some people will call that not a blessing. But it's a blessing. I saved a lot of money. You know, kids aren't for everybody, right? So, um, you know, good if you have kids. I, I like kids. But I sure saved a lot of money by not having them. So, you know, you can choose the size of your family. You can choose the occupation you do. You can choose where your side hustles are. It's all up to you. I believe in you. So get off your butt, enjoy your life, and get on with it. Because, you know, life is terminal. It's all going to be over soon for me and for all of you. So get on with it, folks. Put your comments down below. And Carolyn, if you're watching, hey, wish you weren't here. In the meantime, folks, stay safe. Keep your wisdom to I'll talk to you soon. Over and out. I got you, I got you, I got you